Have you ever had a crazy idea and mid-journey just doesn't seem to get it? Recently, Just Dave commented on a video of mine saying, No matter how hard I try, I can't get it to create a three-legged gray alien. Been working on it for days. Well Dave, the new Remix feature can help you guide mid-journey to produce anything you want and it's actually very easy. In today's video, we'll be learning about a super powerful remix technique that will allow you to guide mid-journey in producing anything you want. This technique is called scaffolding. Not this type of scaffolding, but this one. If you have any interest in digital art, you know that before a final image is created, it normally starts with a sketch or concept art. And this is essentially what we'll be doing here. When I read Dave's comment, I thought to myself that if Midjourney can produce a three-legged alien, it probably can produce other three-legged things. So I asked Google what has three legs, checked the image tab and after looking at some of the weirdest images I've ever seen on the internet, there it was, a tripod. In order to produce a three-legged alien, we're going to ask Midjourney to produce a tripod and then trick Midjourney into converting the tripod into an alien. Along the way, I'll show you how to change aspects of the created character, place it in any environment that you want, some best practices, and so much more. So let's get started by typing out our initial prompt. I'm asking for a tripod with a huge camera on it, as I want the composition silhouette to be more closely shaped to a creature, rather than just three skinny sticks and a tiny camera on top. I'm running this in V3 as I find it to be a good place to start when remixing because V3 is quite experimental when it comes to compositions, meaning that it tends to present you with more interesting images. Looking at the 4 image grid on the left, I really liked number 4 as I thought it would be a perfect start to the scaffolding process. Pay attention to the composition, it's quite fitting for the 3 legged alien we're trying to create. And this is probably the most important tip I can give you when remixing. Do not remix unless you have a composition you're happy with. I went ahead and upscaled U4 and then made variations of the resulting upscale. Again, in V3, I changed my prompt to 3 leg alien. Image 2 on your screen was the resulting grid from the remix. And again, my focus here is on finding the closest looking composition to what I want to achieve. In this case, it was V3. At this stage, you don't need to spot all the details of the character you're trying to design, but just the concept or feeling you're trying to convey. Repeating this process on image 3, I was happy with V4, so I upscaled it to receive my three-leg alien concept. Notice how we went from a tripod to our concept art in just two steps. Do keep in mind that when showing you these progressions, I have included every single step, but I have not included all the rerolls that I did not use. When developing your character, keep rerolling and be picky with your compositions until you're happy. Like Michael Jordan says, get the fundamentals down and the level of everything you do will rise. When you obtain your upscaled concept image, this is when the really fun part begins. Remastering. Remastering adds the details to your concept art and adds life to your character. You can just keep clicking remaster on your concept image and Midjourney will produce you with infinite and diverse characters all in the click of a button. Remember that when remastering, that changes the Midjourney version from version 3 to test. I'm going to proceed with character 2 and show you how you can change different aspects of it. I'm going to be altering the color, creating a green, purple and white variation of our alien. These are the results of remixing and test and a few observations at this point. Notice how the eyes haven't changed much. When remixing and test, your character features will be quite well preserved. Our colors have now been applied too, but you can tell Midjourney is reluctant to apply the changes so easily. Our purple and white aliens are not all purple and white, but only partially. For comparison, I also remixed our alien in V3 and then remastered it back to test. Changing colors was much easier here, as the colors we requested are applied perfectly to the entire body. But the downside to remixing in V3 and remastering back to test is that your finer details will be more difficult to conserve 
as V3 is very difficult to control. It's more random and sensitive to changes. When remixing in V3, similar to what we did with our initial concept image, you need to look for the perfect compositions before upscaling and remastering and that introduces a lot of room for error. Here are both test and V3 remixes side by side, where you can see how the top row remixed and test maintained its composition very well, but was more reluctant to apply our color changes, while the bottom remixed in V3 nailed the color changes but altered our alien slightly, although it still produced some amazing results like image 7. Play around with both, see which one works best for you, as both can produce very interesting results. At this point I also played around with adding different things to my prompt, like glowing purple eyes or Star Wars character, and that produced me with so many different and amazing character variations. So let your imagination run wild, experiment and have fun. When designing characters, normally illustrators include a front and back shot in the concept image to allow 3D designers to grasp the full idea behind their character and model or sculpt the character accordingly. On the screen you see an example of this from a game I used to play called Vainglory. You can achieve this front and back shot with Midjourney very easily. Simply remix the character you're working on and add back in front of your text prompt. Keep re-rolling until you get the result you're happy with, just like I've done here. Now that we understand how to develop characters, let's try to place our character in an environment. I want our alien to be on the surface of Mars. From my previous remix tutorial, we saw that V3 is your best option when introducing big changes like an environment. So I'll be remixing this purple alien in V3 by adding on Mars, surface of Mars and Mars sky at the front of my prompt. For those of you who've watched my other videos, you'll know that the earlier a word or phrase appears in a prompt, the more attention Midjourney pays to it. Given that we have a strong character base image and no environment at all, adding our environment prompt at the front will give us the best chance of Midjourney actually illustrating it. You can see from our first remix in image 1 that our environment is barely showing. Midjourney is quite stubborn to introduce it because the background is plain and it wants to keep it plain. In image 1 I selected version 4 as it had made the most progress in introducing an environment and the results produced in image 2 were now much better. Once I got to this stage, the hardest part of introducing an environment was done because we now have converted our background from a plain one to a Mars one. I repeated this process until I received the upscaled concept image 4. I remastered this upscale a few times until I obtained a suitable composition. Remastering at this point is very useful as it adds some more details that Midjourney can work with when you continue to remix in V3 and this reduces the degree of random noise. Having now fully introduced a Mars environment, I changed my prompt by decreasing the importance of Mars and moving it at the back of my prompt, while introducing cinematic lighting and Unreal Engine at the front of my prompt. I did this as I wanted to improve the quality of the image. This can be achieved by introducing words like Unreal Engine, which I've covered in my previous character design videos. You can see how much more detail is now present in our remix in version 3, where image 2 variation 1 is pretty much perfect. I upscaled this version 1 and now having a solid character concept and a Mars environment concept, this concept image was ready for remastering back into test. Again, once you have your finished concept image, simply with a click of a button you can receive amazing variations where each remaster produces you a slightly different character and environment and you can continue to remaster until you find the perfect combination featuring a correct character design and a pleasing environmental aesthetic. Remastering a concept image like this is extremely powerful as it can produce you an infinite amount of new and polished images. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope this was useful and can help you in achieving better character designs going forward. Be creative when you can't obtain the results you're looking for. 
think of a workaround that you can use to remix into the image you want and go about it this way. Here are two videos I mentioned in this tutorial. Watch them if you want to learn more and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.